Hello, my name is Donna Coxon. I'm a solution architect with Fullscope, and today I'm going to show you Fullscope's GDPR management solution for Dynamics 365. So you've probably all heard about GDPR. GDPR is a general data protection regulation for all individuals within the European Union. It aims to give individuals control over their personal data, and it is a regulation that becomes enforceable on the 25th of May 2018. Um, and there are severe penalties for any organisations that do not comply or do not meet their GDPR obligations. So in order to become GDPR compliant, you will need to go through this compliance cycle, starting with policy and planning. And many companies are in this stage already or have um, already moved through this stage. But effectively, what you need to do here is really understand what you need to do in order to achieve your compliance and identify what policies and documentation you need to put into place. Documentation is the next stage. GDPR compliance requires that you have all of your policies and processes for handling data documented and there are a number of documents that you will need to create and have available in order to comply with the regulation. The next stage of the process obviously is then implementing all of those policies and processes and you will then need to educate your employees so that they understand what does GDPR mean to them, what do they have to do differently to what they're doing now. The next stage then is to track and log all of your GDPR compliance data so you need some mechanism to track all of your GDPR consent and all of your GDPR data requests. And then you need to be able to monitor that information on an ongoing basis to analyze it and to adjust it accordingly. So this slide just shows the key documentation that an organization is going to need to have in place in order to meet their GDPR obligations. You need to have some policies around how you're going to handle data, how you're going to dispose of data. All of these policies need to be documented so that if you're audited, you can show that you have processes in place for handling personally identifiable information. So at Fullscope, we did an analysis of the number of GDPR controls that are required. We found that policy and documentation accounted for about 45 controls, but the actual process implementation accounted for 16 controls. And it's this process implementation piece that Fullscope can help you with, with Dynamics 365, to help you implement a process for capturing and managing those data requests and that data consent. So the Fullscope GDPR solution addresses these areas of the GDPR processes that you will need to put in place in order to meet your GDPR obligations. The first piece is around consent management. So how do you obtain a contact's initial consent to hold their data? And how do you track any changes to that consent? And then data protection request management. How do you manage any data requests? And how can you prove that you've captured those requests and that you've actioned them? And the Fullscope solution can help you do that. The next release of the Fullscope GDPR solution is being released in May 2018. And that will allow you to catalog all personally identifiable information within an asset register. It will also include a transfer register so you can actually track any data transfers. And also it will include a breach management process. So this is what a full scope GDPR process implementation project looks like. So step one of the project is around compliance planning and PII audit. This is the stage that all companies are going through or starting to go through. And this is really around understanding what GDPR means to your organization, what policies, and what documentation you need to produce. This is where you'll need to carry out a full system audit on where PII data it resides across all of your systems within the organization. PII data being personally identifiable information. Once you've identified where all of that data is stored and what kind of data you store, you then need to start going about obtaining consent from all of the contacts. So this is where you might use something like an email automation tool or a survey tool. And what you need to do is contact every single person whose personally identifiable information is being held with any of your systems. And you need to obtain explicit consent 
to keep that information. So step three is around implementing the GDPR processes. So once you've done all of your compliance planning, you've identified all of the personally identifiable information, where it resides within your organization, you've cataloged it, you've done your reorganizations, you've done your systems integration um, in order to secure and streamline that data. At that point, you then need to implement the 61 managed controls for GDPR. And Fullscope have identified 15 controls which are naturally suited to be managed within Dynamics 365 for customer engagement. And our Fullscope solution is a set of tools that will facilitate the implementation of those controls. The next stage in the process is around educating employees. So what does it mean to your employees? What do they have to do differently? How does it change their day-to-day -day work routine? So training your employees is crucial and Fullscope provide custom training content so that you are able to educate your employees so that they are up to speed on how they have to behave in order for your organization to meet its GDPR obligation. So once you've implemented your processes, you've obtained consent, you know where all of your data resides, your employees are all trained, you now need to be able to manage that consent and also manage any data protection requests. So the Fullscope GDPR solution enables you to track all of the consents that you've received, status of that consent, and also any additional requests for changes to that consent status. And then the final stage is around the ongoing monitoring, reporting, and tracking of all of this data. So here you can use things like Dynamics 365 dashboards to track all of your consent, your requests, your breaches, your data transfers, and to be able to prove that you're tracking that data and actioning that data in case you are audited. So this slide's quite useful just to show you some of the different tools that you can use to support your GDPR obligations. And it shows you also which of the processes, the full scope GDPR solution will help you with as well. So let's take a quick look at the Fullscope GDPR solution. So really the end state that you want to be able to get to is to be able to have a number of dashboards that show you the status and ongoing situation of that personally identifiable information within your systems, within your organization. So what we see here, for example, is the GDPR consent dashboard. So this is where I can really see the status of GDPR consent records. So I can see, for example, of all of my active contacts across my systems, who has granted consent, who has revoked their consent, who hasn't responded at all. We can see GDPR objection status, so how many of our contacts have allowed us to do automated processing on their data. We can see how many of our contacts have got restrictions on their status. And we can also see how we're receiving different types of consent over a period of time. So this enables us to monitor on an ongoing basis the status of all of our GDPR consent records. Similarly, we have a dashboard that enables us to monitor and track any GDPR requests. So do we have any open GDPR requests that need to be actioned? What's the trend of GDPR requests? What's the average time it takes us to resolve those requests? What types of requests are we receiving over a period of time? And as we know, there are different types of data requests that people can make. And we have to be able to prove that we are tracking those requests and that we are actioning them. So if we take a look at one of our contact records, we can see that the Fullscope GDPR solution gives us the ability to track the consent status for a given contact. I can see the last time they changed their consent status. I can see that we are not allowed to do any automated processing on this data. I can see that they have four open GDPR requests and 10 resolved GDPR requests. And I can also see a history, how their GDPR consent has changed over time. So originally they granted us consent to hold their data, but now they have revoked that, that consent. And I can also see that they've submitted different data requests over a period of time as well. When somebody submits a data request, there is a different process to follow for each different type of data request. So if we look at this request for information, so we can see that we need to assess the request, 
we need to locate all of their personal data. We need to verify the information that's provided, and then we can move into finalizing that request. So for each different type of request that is submitted, you'll see there is a different process that needs to be followed. And these can be configured to suit your organization's internal processes and how you handle those requests and the things that you need to do. So that's a, a quick overview of what's available currently in the Fullscope GDPR solution. So as I said, there is a new release of the Fullscope GDPR solution, which is about to be released in May 2018. And that will give you, in addition to the ability to do your consent management and track all of your data protection requests, it will give you the ability to catalog all of your personally identifiable information so the asset register. It will also give you the transfer register capability, so the ability to track any data transfers and also the breach management process. So what happens if there is a data breach and how do you use service level agreements to ensure do what you need to do within the 72 hour breach window. So we have lots and lots of additional resources to help you around your GDPR compliance processes. And the Microsoft Compliance Manager, that one is really, really useful. So um, that is free to all customers who have an active cloud subscription. And effectively, once you work through the questions in the Compliance Manager, it will give you a full checklist of all of the policies and documentation and processes that you need to have in place to meet your GDPR obligations. Please feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions about GDPR, if you'd like to talk to us about implementing a GDPR solution within Dynamics 365 to help you meet your obligations. We would love to talk to you. We would be very happy to help you on your CRM journey. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.